Episode four, we finally made it. It's almost, we're almost at the stage where we're going to Hatter. Um, two more weeks, so not far really. Uh, this weekend I'm heading to round seven and eight of the Vic Offroads up in Cassidon. Um, gonna have a bit of a ride in Hamilton the day before though first. So I went and picked up a new, shop, oh not a new shop, just I had the propane put in the shock from Stell at one point. Um, picked it up from the Savo, so I'm going to put it in until about tomorrow morning before the ride. But yeah, um, well, I left just after 6 from Melbourne and it's now just before 10 and I'm still going. It's, pretty, it's a pretty boring, boring old long drive. Um, I shouldn't be, I'm not too far off, I think another 15, 20 minutes and I'll be there. Sweet, just got here and straight to the pub with the boys. This should be good. Uh, yep, the pub sucked me in a little bit last night. I sucked all of us in a little bit, so I slept in my van at the front, but got myself a coffee and just loaded up with the last four bits of bananas and bits and pieces and then heading, leaving Hamilton now. Probably an hour up the road and there's a little sand loop that me and Desi are gonna play around on. Um, once I get there, I've obviously got to put my shock in and tidy up a couple of little bits and pieces and then, yeah, should have a bit of fun, ride for half a day or so and then head off to Cassidy. Here we are, time to put this beautiful thing back in there, shouldn't be too bad.
7 and 8 of the Victorian Off-Road Series um, in Cassidon. Last time it was pretty tight and whooped out. So I imagine it'll be pretty similar this time. The grass section looks wet already and slippery. So yeah, it should be alright. Um, we just finished up a ride out at uh, just out of Hamilton. Well, about half over between Hamilton and Cassidon. Just did a cut like an hour or so this morning and now me and Desi have headed over this way and yeah, set up camp and get ready for a nice long week into racing again. Start of day one, it's cross country today. Last time we'll probably we ran just over, over oh, 2,045 minutes I think it was. So I'd say it's probably pretty similar this time. Um, just having brekkie again and I'm gonna hang out in the van this time because I've uh, installed a heater in here and geez it is chilly outside and warm in here so I'm gonna stay in here for a little bit until maybe the sun comes up and and then get out there and get some stuff done. I gotta go see Stell, set up my sag still from when I had the shock done. Just about time to gear up and get ready for the cross country. I've decided to try to tape my hands this time. Um, just to see if I don't usually need to do it, but I know for Hatter I probably will. So I kind of want to give it a go and, and see how it how it works today and if I need to change anything or if I'm happy with how they're taped or just don't tape them at all. So, sweet as. Let's see how that goes. And then, fingers crossed, they don't ball up and blister up. All right, here we go. About to head off to the sliding lap. Right up to the start one, see how it goes. No, I'm not. Country's done. Um, that was a very long and rough one. It was ended up being two hours and fifty-five minutes for me. Um, which is about an hour longer than what how usually. Um, so 
yeah, my arms are pretty sore. The tapering seemed to hold up quite well. Um, yeah, no, it was good, good fun. Good to spend that much time on the bike. Um, but I can definitely feel it now. Definitely pretty, pretty tender by the end of it. Here I was just doing an oil change and air filter change, <clears throat> prepping my bike, and then made myself some dinner and pretty much went to bed that night, so it was a pretty crazy night for me. It's about 6.30 on Sunday again. Um, just got up, gonna have some brekkie, get ready for the sprints. I am pretty beat up after yesterday, actually. I'm feeling pretty sore, so I think it's just gonna be a bit of a get through it day and pack up and drive home. Um, I'm already looking forward to getting home, having a warm shower and jumping in bed, really. So that's all right, we'll get through it and hopefully after the first or second sprint, I'll loosen up a bit and it turns a bit more fun. But for now, let is, let's just have some brekkie. Wouldn't be an episode of my vlog without a sunrise or sunset. Give that another half an hour or so, and I'll be epic. Here it comes. Get around the job. Just heading to Riders Brief and everyone's getting ready, nice and early. Hopefully an early finish and get out of here. Canteen food, first age here. Let's get the show running and see how you're going and how much ride you can do. Any questions? Here we go, exciting luck for the sprints. coming up. There's some people already out there obviously. Oh yeah.
had heaps of fun all day. Um, that last one I got a bit excited and had a big over the bars moment, so I'm hoping that footage is there. But I tried to reshape the track with my helmet, which was never works out well. I figured I probably should do a little bit of talking on the way home before it gets dark. Um, how did today go? Uh, yeah, pretty good. I really enjoyed the track. It, um, it bedded in real well. I think if it was any longer, it would have been a bit of a, a bit of a slog to get through it because it was very rough. But um, now, all in all, it was, it was awesome. It was a good weekend. Uh, yesterday, we got a little bit of a stitch up and ended up doing about an hour longer than we were supposed to. Um, and then which, I mean, to be honest, isn't the end of the world. It's all still riding, so it's still good fun. And then, yeah, today was a pretty short day. We only did the four sprints. And that, oh, so we came 15 and 20 minutes each sprint. Um, and, yeah, it was, how did we go? Yeah, the first, oh, first sprint was not too bad. Um, just kept stalling get the bike started again which would be annoying. Second one I wasn't that great. I just sort of tried to pick my way around the rough parts rather than rather than actually hitting them. Um, and then so the third one I went back to just bulldogging through all the all the rough parts because it was a lot slower trying to pick your way around them. Um, and then the fourth one I was having an absolute ripper and I caught the two fellas in front of me overtook one and then hit a log and went over the bars which was pretty funny um, and yeah so now packed up and well, about halfway through the drive got about two and a half hours left which so it's not too bad um, should be home by a decent time tonight which is good for races down that way um, yeah we'll catch you all later